Hello everybody, this is Nia Fadi. I'm here with a weekly astrological message. I'm going to try and keep it brief this time. Though it's one of the most powerful weeks of 2021 with a very strong Sagittarian solar eclipse, full solar eclipse, total solar eclipse in Sagittarius, conjunct Mercury, squaring Neptune. Um, definitely a sense that we can overdo things here, that we've been taking things for granted, that we could intrude in territories and, and 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 turfs that are not our own this is an amazing time amazing time to rethink our philosophy to rethink our aims to understand our emotions and and objectives better and ask ourselves is it really driving us towards happiness and contentment on the 29th we because you see, on the 29th, we have a Kazemi with Mercury in the heart of the Sun and the furthest point from Earth, what we call a superior conjunction, told by the ancients as a marvelous time to really think our philosophies, rethink the way we see life itself, our opinions, and whatever drives us forward, our motives. And then having the solar eclipse smack on it as well. Really a great time for ceremony and a time that we need to understand that time space does not move regularly. We could have very powerful experiences, life changing experiences at this time. And whatever happens now has an influence for another half a year forward. So whatever happens now matters. How we react to things, how we answer the challenges of life at this moment. So am I looking, I'm looking at the 27th until let's say the 9th of December 2021. I want to say that from the 28th, we have a healing time in the sky. We have Mercury trining Chiron. We have the sun trining Chiron. We have Saturday, uh, we have Saturn uh, uh, sextiling Chiron just a bit before that. These are all really healing angles that help us untie these emotional knots in our shoelaces, you know, that help us fasten things up and stride forward good time at really purifying our life our actions believing in change at the same time we have mars planet of male energy trining neptune it's a very romantic and creative time it's a great time for creators and artists for inspiration and as we're heading into the first and the second and the third, we could feel the eclipse coming on the fourth. That's the main thing. It's, not, it's, it's days that we don't have a long fuse. It's like feeling an impending storm coming a bit. You know, you, it's, it's the quiet before the storm. It's a tense quietness. You know, it's not a tranquil quietness. We can feel it coming. Anyway, the eclipse itself is a lot about cherishing and honoring what we have, changing our perspective and philosophies in order to better update the ideas and our, you know, navigating through this universe to suit the pending times, to suit these, these tidal waves that we were dealing with. And I can tell you definitely that I'm in a totally different socioeconomic place than I was before COVID. Um, I have much less financial ability and freedom. I um, handle myself with less, but I'm more cherishing and honoring than I've ever been regarding what I have, regarding the people I have in my life, every person. I think I'm much more aware of my faults and weaknesses. I think I'm much more sensitive to other people than I was a few years back. And I'm definitely more aware of the transgressions, of the overdoing of things, of the going over the top, driven by ego and wanting to take a part in this all. Not understanding that this is a communal effort we're all in. You know, buying in a little bit, reluctantly, into the capitalist liberal approach of promoting the one over the many. Individuality over socialism, you know, and, and society and community. So a lot of these can be involved, a lot of these themes can be involved in this solar eclipse. 
The fifth is a beautiful day in the sky and so is the sixth. In the sixth we have a sextile between the planet of male energy and Pluto, Hades, Lord of the Underworld. This gives us inner strength to overcome challenges in our lives. Challenges that have held us back before. And just a few days later, on the 8th, Mars is going to square Jupiter, which means don't overdo things, don't go over the top, don't push it too far too soon. Remain um, very professional and modest and calculated. That's the best way to go through these days. I want to say there's Zoom uh, groups that are opening all the time. If you want a session with me or studying with me, you can always reach me. All the details are at the end of the slide. I want to thank you for seeing this, commenting on this, and sharing this. May we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Feiler. Bye-bye.